sadly, in 2021, there is no NHL All-Star Game. The festivities were great and all, but what I'll miss the most is arguing over who got snubbed. And we know hockey fans love to dive into that conversation as well. And thanks to EA Sports, we can still get heated about these snubs, okay? EA Sports NHL has been running a fan vote for the Hut All-Star teams over the past couple weeks. 24 players were nominated in each division, with only six making each division's All-Star team. In other words, one player for each position. Each player will receive special winner items and boosted ratings in Ultimate Team. The results for a couple of the divisions have been revealed, but remember, before you flame EA Sports, I'll open the comments, these were voted by the fans. Let's start with my favorite division, the North. The forwards are Connor McDavid, Mitch Marner, and Johnny Hackey. At defense, there's Morgan Riley and Tyson Berry. And finally, in net is Carey Price, which I think some Montreal fans might argue is surprising. Also surprising, the NHL goal leader Austin Matthews is absent here, but hard to argue with McDavid at center. Fans were largely upset over two things. The exclusion of Jeff Petrie and obviously the inclusion of Carey Price, especially after the season. And there's no representation from the Jets, Canucks, or Senators. Now over to the West. The team is made up of Nathan McKinnon, Max Pacioretty, Miko Rantanen, Tori Krug, Drew Doughty, and Mark andre Fleury. Once again, fans took issue with defense as Kel McCarr was snubbed. The other two divisions will have their all-star announcements in early April. So far, what's your take on the North and West squads? I want to know. Top Shot is a new hot collectible on the market, and while digital collectibles are the way of the future, vintage video games and consoles are still selling for incredible prices. In fact, within the next week, we could see the most expensive video game item ever sold. A sealed copy of Super Mario Bros. for the Super Nintendo is currently estimated to go for over $300,000. It's been graded a 9.6 out of 10, and it still has the cardboard hang tab. The bidding just got out of the proxy phase, but there's a chance that it could surpass the previous record set by the Nintendo PlayStation console. This console never saw full development as Nintendo pulled out of the deal with Sony, but a prototype remained out there and it sold for $380,000. It would just be incredibly fitting for a Mario game to be the highest selling video game of all time. If you watched our stream on Twitch, you know that we're very excited about Mario Golf coming back. Tiger Woods signed a multi-year deal with 2K Sports, and now EA Sports is also jumping back into golf video games. There aren't too many details released at the moment, but PJ Tour will be making a return and plans to make use of next-gen technology. So far, it looks like the virtual career mode will be one of the biggest features of the game. And of course, you'll be able to play on some of the most famous courses in golf and again, some of the biggest pros, and you'll play as them too. There's been a dry spell, but all of a sudden, golf is coming back with a highly anticipated trio of games. Which of these three are you most excited to try? I, for one, am a little disappointed now that we're talking golf that a new Lynx hasn't been announced, okay? OG Xbox users know about Lynx, but if I had to choose between these three, I'm going Mario Golf, obviously. Simulator games have gotten more and more realistic because graphics and game technology just continue to improve. You've got Flight Simulator, Surgeon Simulator, a <laughs> classic, Goat Simulator. You can simulate practically anything in a video game form nowadays. Have you tried Bartender Simulator? That's a good one too. What's one with Toast? What's one where you play as Toast? Things you never thought you'd want to simulate, really. Who would have thought that being a goat would be such an invigorating experience? The simulator genre is getting even bigger with the release of Lawn Mowing Simulator. That's right, your favorite Sunday chore in the summer just got a little more fun. <laughs> Listen, I know what you're thinking. Why would I want to mow a lawn in a video game when I don't even want to mow the lawn at home? But you'll have access to all the big brands in the lawn mowing space and get upgrades as you go. There's also going to be a career mode that lets you start your very own landscaping company. But Listen, now I'm excited. It sounds crazy, but these games are incredibly detailed and super popular. Like Farm Simulator, hello. <laughs> it's a time. Lawn Mowing Simulator is coming out on PC, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S in the summer of 2021. So next time your mom tells you to go mow the lawn, you can tell her that you are, and then show her your video game. It'll go over well. If you've never heard of Ryan McNaught before, you're missing out. He is also known as the Brick Man. And that's because he's an absolute wizard when it comes to Lego. That's right, he's a master builder. The, the master of all the master builders. He's made outrageous creations entirely out of Lego, and one of his most recent doesn't even make sense. He created a Zion Williamson from NBA 2K21 and a life-size version of that. I'm one of those follow the direction kind of Lego builders. I don't know about you guys. Everything from Zion's nameplate to Zion's emotion to the basketball has been perfectly replicated in rectangular brick form. Move aside wax museums. I want to see some Lego museums in the near future. Maybe they already exist. We'll look into it. That's all we got for you this week. Be sure to come back next week for even more video game news in the sports world. See you again next time.